I'm doing a lock update. I know I haven't done one in a while and I'm sorry about that, but I just don't whenever I would think about doing a lock update, I never felt like I had anything to update you on. Um, except for the fact that my length the length of my hair is changing. So I didn't really feel the need to do any lock updates, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do one and I'm sorry about the lighting but I'm using natural lighting today and the Sun is like going down so um, yeah I want to make this as quick as possible and I know you guys look at this video you like this chick's hair is purple I do have a video that I'm gonna put up on my channel of how I got my hair purple so stay tuned for that I'm not wearing any makeup today I just want to wear makeup right now as you guys can see my hair has grown out quite a lot um, in the past few months since I last did an update. I think I did an update when my, my locks were a year and a half. Do not quote me on that. I don't really remember. It's been that long since I've done an update. On July the 14th, I believe, my locks will be, uh, three years old. So, this is the, the length my hair has achieved in the last two and a half years. So, as you can see, my hair is longer and i i really think that's the only thing that's changed for me except for the fact that i don't wash my hair as often i wash my hair just whenever i feel like it needs to be clean so i don't really go by a set oh i wash my hair every three weeks i just do what i feel like my hair needs at the time and i probably retwist my hair every six to eight weeks so um and that's just me guessing i just i don't keep up with that stuff I don't know how many, a lot of people ask me this, I don't know how many locks I have, I've never counted, I never wanted, I never felt the need to count my locks, so I've never sat down and actually count, counted my locks because I'm just not interested in knowing how many locks I have, so um, not to be rude or anything, just I, I'm, me personally, I'm not interested in how many locks I have in my head. So a few things that I've learned from having locks, one of the main things is that Pulling your hair up is not good for your hair. Like, I see a lot of people with locks who wear their hair up and up styles a lot. Which is probably why I also don't do, like, style videos. Because I don't wear my hair up often. I actually wear it down pretty, um, pretty much every day. Because putting the hair up into so many styles can cause the hair to thin out and break. And the last thing I want is for my locks to break off my head. So... <laughs> I don't want to be, you know, doing my hair one day and one of my locks just fall out because that's not cute. That's, that's no bueno, okay? I just don't wear my hair up often because when I was wearing my hair up often, I noticed, <clears throat> I started to notice that my hair in the back and like on the sides, they started, the, the locks started to thin. So when I noticed that, I immediately made a change and stopped wearing my hair up all the time because... It was causing my locks to thin out and that's not cute so I definitely do not recommend wearing your hair up a lot when you have locks uh, also I found that having natural hair like having loose natural hair or or lock locked natural hair I find that it brings out the people the know-it-alls the people who think they know how your hair functions better than you do and I'm just not with that like I'm not I, I, I take I'll take somebody's con constructive criticism or I'll take advice especially if I don't know any better but people who just try to tell me what my hair needs I ain't with that because I know what my hair needs better than anybody because it's my hair Ooh, my voice kind of cracks right there I've been taking care of my hair for quite a long time now so I think that I know my hair better than anybody else so anybody who comes at me talk, telling me what I'm doing wrong with my hair that's your opinion like um that's that's your opinion you're entitled to your opinion but you're not gonna tell me what I need my what my hair needs because I know what my hair needs better than anybody okay the next thing I um, realized about having locks is that um, my locks um in particular i don't know if anybody else deals with this on a regular basis or has this issue i have noticed that my locks just like to cling on to lint and dirt and it will get product build up like nobody's business my product build up um issue isn't um like it used to be like when i was when i was interlocking i found that my hair 
would get product build up really badly whereas now when it gets like even the slightest build up I can wash it and it'll be gone when I was interlocking my hair the product would get in into where the interlock um, section was and I guess it would get stuck because the, the hair was so tight I don't really know why it was so bad there but I'm just guessing that because the hair was so tight there that it just stayed and it wouldn't go away so when I stopped interlocking my hair that's when I stopped having that issue so I found that for me with locks my hair doesn't respond well to interlocking so I stopped that so now I just retwist and my hair has been responding a lot better to that another thing that I found since having locks and I know I'm saying a lot of stuff here but I feel like it's important to say I found that when my locks got longer it took longer for them to dry where like now when I wash my hair it takes an entire day maybe plus for my hair to completely dry down and not be so soaked with water so that's one thing that I found to be an issue for me because I was used to when I had shorter locks my hair would dry within a few hours of me washing it whereas now I can go to bed with wet hair because it takes longer for my hair to dry because I have longer locks if that makes sense I love my locks I wouldn't say having locks is exactly easy all the time I mean it's a lot less work than having um, loose natural hair because I was a loose natural for like three years so <clears throat> there's a big difference between that and having locks with my loose natural hair it the process of styling and doing my hair it was like a two to three day kind of thing like it took forever so the process of doing my hair now is still long because like I said it takes forever for my hair to dry but it's still not as much work as having loose natural hair but it is work it's not like oh I got locks and that's it you know you have to take care of your hair um, at least that's my opinion like in my opinion you have to take care of your hair I've learned that just because I have locks doesn't mean that I don't still have to work at keeping them healthy you get what I'm saying so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do my 360 it's gonna be a little hard in this chair but I'm gonna make sure I show you every angle of my hair so you guys can see what I'm dealing with I do have a lot of salt and pepper up in here happening because I do have gray hair and I haven't I haven't dyed my hair at all you know I need to dye it black up here see, so don't don't judge me so here's the front as you guys can see fresh fresh we twist mm -hmm. here's my right side here's my left side And here's the back. Okay, you guys, so that's my hair. If you have any questions, please leave them down below, and I will try to answer those for you guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.